Well, if we look at this game, let's focus up. We need to shine right now. We need to shine big time. We need to get a win on the board. We don't want to end up with a negative win range today. So in bot lane, we have a pretty scaling situation with Twitch Lulu. There's probably going to be some early game action playing against Tristana and Rel. They're most likely going to play aggressive and try to take down Twitch Lulu before they get all skilled. Mid lane is a matchup I've never seen before. I haven't seen a high modding a mid for a long time in general, but I'm going to imagine he's going to be pretty hard to gank. Top lane, maybe it's possible, especially if Shyamana is not level 6 and we can just jump her with Sejuani Vukong, get some stacks on her, stun her, take it down. I could see that happening. Now in general for Vukong, Vukong is a good scaling champion. His early game is not the greatest. His clear speed also you know not the greatest of all but in general he scales well especially when you have thunder right that's where you can pop off shine take down the opponents and really go full monkey mode and take them down that's right that's right so let's pop those top. yeah i think we'll pop those top i think we have a higher chance of killing anyone top 10 bot so let's move our way towards that line move up the gonna start e Let's go, let's do it. Give me a second here. You ready for it? Omega lol. That's right. There you are. Now you know why people pay channel points to see that, to witness that, to hear that most of all. Now you know. Alright, let's move on. This little Haima was trying to steal my Raptors. Unacceptable. Let's get in there. Secured, maybe we can look mid. Oh, that chain was unfortunate. Think he's still dead? Yes, he is. Close enough. I was no flash now, so he should be fairly easy to gank. We can look where we could turn gank mid at some point. We look mid, it's gonna have to be from top side, I think. But Lulu is clearing the bot side ward at least. Moving around so he doesn't spot me on the ward. Yo, LeBlanc, where you at, my boy? A little bit late to the party. I should have waited, but I think he would have backed off anyways, because he already had pushed in the wave. Remember, we're not the strongest early game, champ. Our scaling is insane, though. As long as early game goes okay, we're gonna be more than fine. Not good, but lane is getting smashed. Eagle basing, we're gonna need to base as well and match him topside, he's gonna play for Herald. So let's base, follow him, and do the same. Uh, what? This guy is just griefing. Like, why would he do this? I get a free kill, nice, but I'm very confused. I just randomly started proxying the wave. What? They saw me. What? Oh man. They must have had a sweeper exit that I didn't notice. 
I thought I could shoot them. Well, I didn't expect Rel to be there, that was extremely random. But I guess it makes sense, she was smashing Lulu. Um, oh. a little bit low on the LeBlanc, but it worked out. I'm in. No comments. I could flame myself in a billion different ways right now, but let's just move on. This guy did not deserve that kill, neither did they deserve the kill on me earlier. They're not doing anything to get these kills, I'm just being dumb. Just walking up for no reason. He's dead. No way. He's alive, wow, what a miracle. This Lulu things plus his exhaust. Thought Vigo based with his fast Herald recall, but he actually didn't. Take smart bites. I'm the only one. As well as Sajani. The two of us. The only two who I had. Oh, God lane. Oh no. Javan is destroying them. That's unfortunate. They finally had a good play and then the top laner comes in. By a W, I think that could have been a kill. Fortunately, it's not the case. She's dead, yep. Nice, the Wukong Sajani, let's go. Ah, nice surrender world, LeBlanc. Make sure to press FF just because you die once. I don't know what Vigo is doing, it's a little bit optimistic. But, a kill is a kill, we take those. I think this should be free. Maybe not free, actually. Uh, let's see. I can buy some time for them. No mind, it is free. Bam. I have options. I need more or cleaver next. Depending on if I want more damage or more defense. More is pretty nice against Haima, but it doesn't help against anyone else. And they're gonna have a couple of tanky people soon, so I actually think Cleaver would be good here. Why do you go Q-Max over E-Max? In competitive, it's 50-50 what people do, it's all about preference. I like maxing Q out to get the extra armor reduction, to get lower cooldown on the Q right away. It feels really nice. Some people like to go 3 points in E into Q, but as I said, in competitive, it's different what people do. Vigo might look for the steel, that's the only downside of going for it right now. I guess LeBlanc is keeping him busy. I like how these two are just going in without that team. Going in for the 2v5. Jump me.
It's pretty hard to crack this mid turret. Unless we dive them. Well, they're only two here, so I guess it's just open. Yeah. If they actually defend it together, it's super hard for us to crack though. I should be fine, they can't kill me. No problem. This monkey is too strong at this point in the game. We can go Baron now. I'll have Cleaver and Waste too. They might try to burn down Baron and 50 50 it here. Got it. Well, that is exactly what they did. I'm actually dead, I think. Wow, that Heimer didn't die. Unbelievable. Well, I should just have left. I thought I could just kill him and run, but... This Heimer is just a god. Wow. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Well, his ult just came up, so... Now he's feeling it. And it worked out. The second it came up, he just flashed right in. He was waiting patiently for that moment. You can just see it. Sorry, Trist. Said you're broken. Well, it does look pretty insane this game, that's for sure. Can't kill the monkey! No one slays the monkey, he's too strong. Except that one time around Baron at least. There he might have been slain. Let's go. Nice game. Let's go! I'm gonna say something that a lot, of, a lot of you are probably not gonna be too happy about, but this was last game of today's stream. In fact, it's gonna be the last stream for a little bit of time because tomorrow I will be going to Utrecht and I'll be in Utrecht for a week. Tuesday to Tuesday creating content for Team Liquid. After that, I'm gonna return and it's gonna be new, so I'm gonna be excited to tell you all about my adventure in Utrecht and what it was all like. Um, hopefully gonna be really cool. For those of you in Netherlands, I will be doing a fan meet in Utrecht on Saturday. Team Liquid is gonna make an announcement about that, I'm sure, and I will also be present at TwitchCon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching me today. It's been a pleasure. Hope you're not going to miss me too much throughout this next week of time and hope you're going to be back when I return next week. 